Get collected, they get fed to the chickens. The chickens are, yeah, look at all these. chick a -lickens. It's not what they're called, they're just called chickens, Chris. They're not called, they're what? Not called chick they're just chickens. Okay, Jaquavius, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Cynthia? Hey, can you, can you not hey Karen, don't give me a lip. So we are back for another video today and today we are in Fort Worth, Texas and what we are going to be doing after old Brenton, see him out there? Look, look, look at him out there. He's right over there. Look at this dude. You are going to fall in. So what we're going to be doing today is right now I am waiting for my brother to arrive at home. So he lives here in Fort Worth, Texas and we are visiting him today. Basically, we're going to take a tour of his chicken coop. I'm gonna get some ideas for my chicken coop when I finish building mine out, as well as we're gonna look at uh, his black soldier fly larva trap that he has built, as well as the black soldier fly larva that he has currently. And basically the reason he traps these is actually to feed the chickens. It's a pretty amazing process. We're gonna check that out today. We're gonna look at the chicken coop. We're gonna see all the chickens and basically all that. So it's kind of a little cool thing and you'll get to meet my brother. So just so you know, my older brother, his name is Tim. And Tim was a, a very large influence in my life growing up. A lot of the things you see in my videos, things like me building things like framing, like when Brenton and I built his duck pen and all of that kind of stuff. A lot of this stuff Tim actually taught me how to do. So he has been a huge influence in my life and uh, you know, I, I love him dearly and you know, he's, he's my big brother. So anyway, you guys will get to meet him today. You'll get to see all his chickens, the chicken coop, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Look at this. What we see here in the wild is one long-legged pink wombat making his way through the river. Here comes old Brenton. If he's not careful, he's going to be eaten by a crocodile. What is going on, guys? So we are here in Fort Worth, Texas, and we are at my brother's house. We are looking at his black soldier fly larva trap, whatever you want to call it. So a black soldier fly. I will show you a picture of one. It's right here. Looks like a wasp with no stinger, no mouth. Its whole purpose is, is to breed and lay eggs. So what they do is in this container here, so you notice there's a gap right here. They will fly up inside of here. They will lay eggs right here inside of this corrugated cardboard. Those grow into the larva, which are inside of here. This is all rotting vegetation and fruit and vegetables and everything else. Chicken feed. And they come in here and they just munch down. You notice this. Now, you may think that this is disgusting and it is, believe me, but the chickens absolutely love them. Look at this. The chickens love it. They love it. Yep, look at that. What do you think? You want more? Is that what you're looking for? Here, here's some more. Straight up killing them. Here comes the rooster. I don't like the rooster. The rooster tries to attack you. So anyway, they fly up in there, they lay the larva. You got all of that. They are the perfect balance of nutrients for chickens. That's why he collects them and then he feeds them to the chickens. But basically what happens is, is they fly up in here, like I said, lay their eggs inside of this corrugated cardboard right here. They fall in here, they create these. Now, when they're at full size, their whole process is, is to find soil to basically turn into a black soldier fly. So they walk up this slanted end, down this little chute, into this bucket, and then at that point, he collects them and feeds them to the chickens. If you look, quite a few in there. So there they are. They're collecting in the collection bin. Once that... <laughs> Close that up right now. Forever, never open it up again. I'm pretty sure I just got a mouthful of what happened? But just the smell. It smells kind of good to me. Duh. Back to what I was saying is, is that they fall in there, they get collected, they get fed to the chickens. The chickens are, yep, look at all these. chick a -lickens. It's not what they're called, they're just called chickens, Chris. They're not called, they're what? Not called chick a -lickens. they're just chickens. Okay, Jaquavius, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Cynthia? 
Hey, 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 hey Karen, don't give me a lip. There's the rooster. Oh yeah. Whoa. That dude will fur you. The smell. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of house flies around. We'll look at them. But fly larvae. So yeah, so these are soldier fly larvae, which they differ from like house fly larvae because you know like house flies and field fly. They want to lay their eggs in rotting meat. So these, the flies lay them in compost and the larvae eat the vegetation or meat. They'll eat anything. Once the larvae have eaten enough and are fully grown, they try to crawl out of the compost. Yeah. And so that's why it's kind of sloped here on the sides because yeah. they'll crawl up and fall out oh. into these buckets. Oh. And so, they, so fall into this. they fall into that. Ooh, it's a dull fly right there. So that's it, a laser. Yeah, it looks like a like a mini wasp. Too. Oh, it looks just like a mini wasp. But it has no stinger. It has no mouth. They don't eat. Let's mix some of this up. Oh wow! You can see there's. So what happened? I stuck my hand in there. Nothing. I mean, you can pick them up. It's. I mean, it's kind of gross because it's kind of spoiled chicken feed in there, right? Yeah, now, but you so. want to do something? Grab so, a handful of these and head towards the chickens the and watch chicken what happens. Love them. And now, granted, the the life cycle of these, they won't until they actually hit the soil, they won't turn into a soldier fly, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and they'll so, stay in this for for weeks and months until they've eaten enough food individually to their full grown, and then they self harvest. And that's what's better about these than like red worms and stuff like that yeah red worms you actually got to dig them out of the uh, the compost these they take themselves out because they're looking for fresh soil but like so I said, it's uh what what do you think you think we should build one of these i kind i'm kind of down because it's got like everything you need for like protein and like you said yeah and they're full of calcium oh so this is just really really good for them it's really good for them they're, they're, they're disgusting chicken, but really good for them yeah, and like I said, it's normally not this bad. It's just because, because of the chicken I, feed. I put 15 pounds of chicken feed in there just two days ago. But do you see that? That's disgusting. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's a good idea to feed chickens. The chickens love them. Would ducks love them? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll have her let the chickens out, and the first thing they do when they come out of the run, they'll mm -hmm. run right over here because they know. They know. Yeah. What do you think? You can oh, buy yeah. them dried as well. They but, probably like them much better live. Oh yeah, but you can see that's where all the smells coming from. That's just oh. spoiled rotten chicken feed that got wet. But these guys, they'll eat it. They'll eat anything. I put a whole cow tongue in here last week, and within a day and a half, it was completely gone. Look at them back there. That's what all these little things are. Wow. I had no idea like that's what these were. Like there's some. Oh, look at all these. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now what? I think this is the funniest. Watching all the chicken. Oh, look, here they come. They're the chickens. Oh my god. They, they know. They, they, they do. They, they really, definitely they know. Really look know. at them. Uh, this is this is where the food is. Hey guys. Look at this. There's the rooster. Oh my goodness. Put them in your hand and let them feed right out of your hand. Oh, gone. Okay. Gone. All right. Oh, they're the fake eggs. Okay. They love them. <laughs> There's going to be poop in there. You don't want any shoes, but... He doesn't care. Have you watched any of his videos? Yeah. God. Dude, he built this? Yeah, he built... You know what's crazy about it, though? So cool. Hey, you can't show this. There's kids on this channel. There's chicken nipples. Oh, my God. Chicken nipples. Chicken nipples right here. A whole line of chicken nipples. Oh, this is... Yeah, this like is a roosty place, place, obviously. Look right here. But this is where they then then all up in this. Those are fake eggs though, right? Uh no, those are probably real eggs. Aren't they? Those are real, real Oh yeah, those rock. are no that's fake. That's fake. That one's fake. Yeah, those are I fake. I think they came and collected. They may have collected wow. to remind them where they're supposed to lay their eggs. It's crazy, right? That's dope. And then this is where you put the feed, I'm guessing. So now that's um, Great. That's grit, grit. Okay. and that's calcium, and that's calcium, and that's grit. And what are you using for calcium? Are you using oyster shells or what? Yeah, oyster shells. Yeah. And so, wow. We keep some feed in here, but most of the time they're not in here until we let them out first thing in the morning, and then they put themselves up at night. Okay. But here's where they get their, their drinking water from. Yeah. Oh, wow. Told you so. Yeah. so you, you built all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken so nipples. Cool. And there's a drain underneath all of this uh -huh. is. It's drilled through the floor. Do you sell any of the eggs or anything? Like My that? daughter sells them. We let her collect them and sell them, and yeah. she uses that for gas money. Huh. So she sells them to family and neighbors. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is just really, really smart. Yeah, it's I, need great, to get, yeah. I need to get things like this though, like this system, like calcium, mm -hmm. grit, because I have grit at my house for the ducks, because that'll probably be a lot better for them. But that was really cool. Oh, there's the rooster. Hello, muchacho. Coming in to check y'all out. Yeah, he's coming in to peck your eyeballs out. What's going on? So as I said earlier, my brother has helped me learn how to build all kinds of things. And as you just saw, the inside of the chicken coop is actually pretty cool. As well as the whole design behind the black soldier fly larva trapping system. Look at the rooster. Come here. Hey there. What? What are you doing? You're like, yep. We're gonna go take a look at the chicken run real quick. That's actually behind the barn. Here's the chicken run or the chicken playground. Look at this. Look at this. So that's what eight and a half foot, nine foot. Eight, eight foot tall. Here's the chicken run. Oh, oh look hello. At that boy. Look at that good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh. Interesting. You're in. Those are the young ones. Those two red ones in that. Uh, black and white one? Black and white one. And so what are you doing now with the water? Well, that's the tank that feeds inside the coop and it feeds out here. Yeah. And about every two weeks I flush it out. So I, you see the hose I got coming in over there? Yeah. So I hook my garden, I got that running beside it. I hook my garden hose up to it. I flush this thing out every two weeks. <laughs> and then I put apple cider vinegar in it. Just to kill stuff? Yeah, it keeps Keep it, it from getting funky and it's good for the chickens yeah hey guys so hopefully you enjoyed that video it's crazy right all of those worms and the chickens it's just amazing the way that they just eat those things up but anyway listen while i was editing the video today to put this out i realized i did not actually film a outro while i was there so i'm doing that now but i'm actually not in texas at the moment i'm actually in southern california i'm going to be bringing you a video of you know something tomorrow here in southern california but um, i thought i'd go ahead and film this outro now and get this video out for you today so hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you haven't followed me on instagram if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do that now i really really appreciate the support and if you like this video smash that like button so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time